Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, we will discuss lesson 1. As in when we come across new words, I will make a note of it in this word document and I will leave the link in the description below. In this lesson, we will learn different parts of the body in French. We will also learn how to conjugate the ER verbs in the present tense. And we will also come across a rhyme. Leçon 1. Voilà le frère et la sœur de Manuel. The word voilà means there is or there are. So the lesson's name translates to there are the brother and the sister. Of Manuel. There's the brother and sister of Manuel. So you can use the word vola to say there is or there are. For example, if you want to say there is the kitchen, there is the park, there is the garden, etc., you can use the word vola. Over here, they've given us a few French words for different parts of the body. The first word is la tête, the head. It is feminine in French. Le cou, neck, the neck. La poitrine, the chest. L'estomac ou le ventre. Both of them mean stomach and both the words are masculine. La main, the hand. Le genou, the knee. Le pied, the foot. Les orteils. The toes. Les cheveux. Hair. So in English, the word hair is usually singular. But in French, we write it in the plural form. We say les cheveux. L'épaule. The shoulder. It's feminine. Le bras. The arm. Masculine. Le coude. The elbow. La hanche. The hip, les doigts, the fingers, la jambe, the leg, la cuisse, the thigh. So we know that all the nouns in French have a gender. There, there are some nouns which are masculine and some nouns that are feminine. Likewise, even in the body parts, some of the body parts are masculine, some of them are feminine. Now let's move ahead with the lesson. Voilà un garçon et une fille. There is a boy and a girl. Le garçon, il s'appelle Demi Lavigne. The boy, his name is Dennis Lavigne. C'est le frère de Manuel. He is the brother of Manuel. Il a 16 ans. He is 16 years old. Il est grand et fort. So, grand and fort are adjectives. They are in the masculine form because they are describing a boy. He is big or he is tall and strong. F-O-R-T means strong. It's in the masculine form. Regardez les jambes de Denis. Look at the legs of Dennis. Elles sont longues. They are long. So here we use the word L because we are talking about his legs. We are saying that his legs are long. So since the word legs is feminine plural in French, we say E-L-L-E-S. They are long. And long is also in the feminine plural form. Les bras de Denis sont aussi longs. The arms of Dennis are also long. So the word les bras means arms and it is masculine plural. So the word L-O-N-G-S, the adjective L-O-N-G-S is also in the masculine plural form and the word OC means also. Il parle anglais et français. 
he speaks english and french let's move ahead la fille s'appelle catherine lavigne the girl's name is catherine lavigne c'est la sœur de manuel she is the sister of manuel elle est petite she is small or short petite is in the feminine form because it describes the sister of manuel elle a les yeux bleus she has blue eyes the word yeux is nothing but les yeux is eyes and it is masculine plural in french so the word bleu the adjective bleu is also in the masculine plural form she has blue eyes sa bouche est rouge the word bouche is nothing but mouth and it is feminine in french la bouche the mouth and the word sa is nothing but his or her in the sen sentence in the sentence it means her we will be learning more about this word in the coming lessons so her mouth is red elle a les cheveux longs et blonds she has long hair and elle a les cheveux longs et blonds so the word cheveux is masculine plural in french so the adjectives that describe uh, her hair that is long et blond they are also in the masculine plural form so she has long and blonde hair elle est belle she is beautiful ils habitent dans une grande maison so they live in a big house the brother sister and manuel all of them live in a big house grand is nothing but big le frère et la sœur sont très proches the brother and the sister are very close the word proche is nothing but close il se dispute rarement se disputer is a verb which means to quarrel or to argue they argue or quarrel rarely rarement is rarely now let's move ahead with the exercises the first one complete avec un mot des mots du texte complete with a word or some words from the paragraph the first one la fille a les dash brown the girl has dash brown brown dash so the girl has brown so the adjective brown is in the masculine plural form so the word that you need to write in the blank should also be in the masculine plural form and from the images we can see that the girl has got brown eyes so you can write your brown the girl has got brown eyes les dash the deni so long the word long is in the masculine plural form so the answer that you need to write should also be in the masculine plural form so you can say les bras de deni so long the third one il a les dash court court is also in the masculine plural form so the answer can be cheveux cheveux is masculine plural it means hair he has short hair le dash son blanche blanche is in the feminine plural form so the answer should also be in the feminine plural form you can say le dent son blanche the teeth are white le dent is nothing but the teeth the fifth one le dash de deni so for the dash of dennis are strong for is in the masculine plural form so the answer should also be in the masculine plural form you can write le bras for the second one looking at this image if we write jambe j a m b e s 
the adjective should be in the feminine plural form because the word jomb is feminine. So the adjective that describes the word jomb sh should match with it. If uh, the word jomb is singular, the adjective should be in the feminine singular form. If the word jomb is in the plural form, then the adjective should also be in the feminine plural form. So here, since the adjective is masculine plural, we've used the word bra. The second exercise, deet vre ufo, say true or false. The first one, le frère de Manuel est petit. From the paragraph, we know that it is false. The second one, les yeux de Catherine sont bleus. That is true. Vrai. The third one, les cheveux de Catherine sont longs et bruns. Her hair is long, but it's not brown. She's blonde. So the answer is four. Il faut disputer avec son frère ou sa sœur. The word il faut means one must or it is necessary to. So you can make a note of this. You will keep coming across it in the other lessons also. So one must quarrel or one must argue with uh, their brother or sister. Faux, false. The fifth one, il parle espagnol. That is also false because they speak English and French. The word espanol is Spanish. The third exercise, répondez aux questions. Respond to the questions. First one, comment s'appelle le garçon? Qui est sa sœur? What is the name of the boy? Who is his sister? So the word qui means who. So we know that the boy's name is Dennis and his sister is Catherine. So we can say, Le garçon s'appelle Denis Lavigne. The boy's name is Dennis Lavigne. His sister's name is Catherine Lavigne. Sa sœur s'appelle Catherine Lavigne. The second one, Comment sont le frère et la sœur? How is the brother? And the sister. So they are asking us about uh, how they look. So you can say that the brother is tall and strong. And the uh, sister is short. You can also say that uh, the brother has got long uh, arms and long legs. And the sister has got blue eyes. Her mouth is red. And her hair is long and blonde. So we can say le frère de Manuel est grand et fort. He has long legs and long arms. So il a les jambes et les bras longs. Over here, the adjective long is describing the words jomb and bra. The word jomb means legs and it is feminine, plural. But the word les bras is masculine, plural. So there is one word which is in the feminine, plural form and another word which is in the masculine, plural form. And you have an adjective that is describing both these words. That is why the adjective is in the masculine plural form. Now we need to write about the sister. We can say la sœur de Manuel est petite. The sister of Manuel is short. Elle a les yeux bleus. Sa bouche est rouge. She has blue eyes. Her mouth is red. Then elle a les cheveux longs et blonds. She has long and blonde hair. Elle est belle. She is beautiful. Let's move ahead. Le visage. 
The word visage means face. It's masculine in French, the face. Les cheveux, the hair. Les sourcils, the eyebrows. Les yeux, the eyes. The singular form for les yeux is l'œil. It means eye. Le nez, the nose. Les dents, the teeth. It's feminine. La bouche, the mouth. Le cou, the neck. Le menton, the chin. It is masculine. By mistake, they've given it as feminine. But it's masculine. Le menton. Les lèvres, the lips. La joue, the cheek. Les cils, the eyelashes. L'oreille, the ear, feminine. Le front, the forehead. So these are all some of the parts of the face. Let's move ahead with the rhyme. Écoutez la chanson et chantez. You can listen to the song and practice singing it. I will read it out. The name of the song is Aluet. Aluet is a kind of a bird. Thus, they've given the image over here. Aluet, janti aluet. Aluet, kind aluet. The word janti is kind. Aluet, je te plumere. The verb plume means to pluck. It's an ER verb. It means to pluck. So, Aluvet, I will pluck you. Plumere is in the future uh, tense. Je te plumere la tête. Je te plumere la tête. I will pluck your head. I will pluck your head. Et la tête. Et la tête. And your head. And your head. Aluvet. 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 Janti aluvet. Aluvet. Je te plumere. Aluvet, kind aluvet. Aluvet, I will pluck you. Je te plumere le bec. Je te plumere le bec. I will pluck your beak. I will pluck your beak. The word le bec is the beak. E le bec, e le bec. And the beak, and the beak. E la tête, e la tête. And the head, and the head. Aluvet, aluvet. So you can listen to this rhyme from the audio documents and practice singing it along. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel, The French Station, to get notified on the upcoming videos. Like it and share it with your friends as well. Until then, ab yanto. See you soon.